Right now, I want to start dealing with my information div. Now, in this container, I want to put in whatever the latest content is from Wikipedia for my topic. Since I'm, I'm doing St. Petersburg, I want whatever the current St. Petersburg page, or at least the content of that page is, I want it to appear in my page, in the, in the div container page. So, in order to do that, I wasn't sure if Wikipedia had an API or not, so I, I googled it. I just googled uh, jQuery Wikipedia API. And uh, one of the first articles that I mean I bumped into was this one. Use jQuery to add Wikipedia content to your site on this Bower Power. Uh, this was particularly good. There's a couple of other ones that I found that were um, of various uh, quality and clarity. And some of them I, I didn't really understand what they were doing or it took me a whole lot to implement it and other, others just didn't work. But this one was by far the most simple implementation that I found and it, and it also uh, had some fixes in there as well. So if you go to the Bower Power website and check out the article listed at this URL, you'll find a really easy to implement script that uh, essentially allows you to really implement this, fu this function with pretty minimal tweaks. Uh, essentially, this script over here is targeting whatever the div container is. Right here it's called wiki info, but on on my page I named it information. So this is how I target where I want that content to go and it says in the body here's how you pop it in. So there's really not much to do. Um, interesting to note what's in this script we we're using the get json function of jquery get json is a method that allows you to basically pull data from another domain um, long story short there's some for security reasons um, when you're working when when your website is sending like a query to an outside website and expect some some stuff in return, some information in return. Uh, that's a huge security risk. And Git JSON just has some functions behind the scenes and the way it formats the data that you receive. Uh, basically, it has some security procedures that are kind of beyond the scope of our conversation. But it's just uh, important to note that Git Git JSON is really the key function to get anything uh, that's not on your site because if you want to pull content from something that was already on your site on your surf same server you could just use the the load function anyhow um, also I guess noteworthy is the actual query the thing you're sending to uh, Wikipedia to get something back if we look inside here you see that it there's this HTTP uh, en and that's English dot Wikipedia dot org then dub forward slash w forward slash api dot php now this is the place with that holds the information so this is what like almost like the Wikipedia API search engine I don't know how to name it but but this is essentially just your starting point that's how you're targeting Wikipedia for your question the next thing we have is a question mark then you see action equals parse and page Google and then prop equals text, format equals JSON, and callback equals question mark. Well, all this are basically parameters defined by Wikipedia. So these aren't like a standard standard uh, calls over here. This is something that has to be defined by the Wikipedia people, and they say, hey, this is how you pull data from here, and um, all of these things you could likely find information on exactly what they mean right at this URL. And if I go to that URL, you'll see that you actually get into the Wikipedia API page. And check this out. Right here, you already see parameters, format, action, ver version, max age, all that stuff. And if you look at some of these 
uh, parameters that they list over here, you're going to see them in there as well, right? I mean, you have action, and then, let's see, that's exactly an action. What action would you like to perform? So what action are we performing over there? And it says parse and p equals parse. So uh, likely, if you, if you start looking, anyway, if you kind of read what this query is doing and then try to match it with what you find in here you could really make make your search even more specific you know and and if you notice we're using this get JSON and towards the end it says one of the formats of the text that we're going to get is JSON formatted content and uh, what does JSON formatted content look like well just take this URL copy it and I don't know put in your web browser likely I, th I may have to get a save file which is alright but okay but look this is so this is JSON formatted text over here so essentially just this raw text is what we're gonna be pulling into our page and you look it already has like some styles and all that stuff but this is what's gonna populate the uh, the content or this is what's gonna populate our information div and also I guess one of the other noteworthy things that is worth uh, looking into at least for yourself for further detail is you'll notice this callback equals question mark now again for security reasons uh, JSON okay so we know that there's load with the load function you could pull pages from your website that are internal right that are on your server and because there's security risks with pulling stuff from a different web server you have to use get JSON right because it's going to format it a special way and now even but get JSON actually has a security policy in there as well that says you could only pull information from one external website so meaning that if we didn't have this callback equals question mark uh, uh, declaration in here, we could only pull stuff from en.wikipedia.org, right? Because we're because we still have to pull in Flickr stuff, and the Flickr stuff also uses JSON, so we would actually get errors. Uh, so this could kind of seem a little technical and a little beyond what you're which what you may be comfortable with but I guess a key thing to take out of all this is that if you have a website that you know is one of these quote-unquote mashups where you're pulling information from Twitter from uh, Wikipedia from Flickr from all these different locations and they're not and it's not working check that you have this callback equals question mark function uh, I'm, and let me note that this is specific to like JavaScripting and using JSON so you're using if you're making a page similar to the big project for this class um, this dot callback is a key key thing to keep in mind when um, when really uh, creating these search query strings for different places